Hey everyone, today I will be reviewing this perfume called Clean Classic Skin Eau de Parfum. So if you want to know more about this fragrance, just stick around. Now this bottle is actually from the Clean Classic range. So Clean Collective Beauty has two um, ranges. So they have the Classic line and the Reserve line. So the Classic line has been around for years and years and years. And the Clean Reserve line is actually the more niche version of the Classic line, which has just recently been launched. So I got this one as a gift and my mom actually wanted to gift me with a perfume and um, I went with her in the mall and scoured through fragrances there and I remember that um, Clean Skin Reserve has been just super popular on YouTube and on TikTok and I tried it out but unfortunately I didn't really like it because it was just way too gourmand for my taste and I know that I loved gourmand scents before but now that I'm getting a little older and like I've pretty much updated my aesthetic and my style I prefer a more unisex and less gourmand um, fragrances because I noticed that whenever I um, smell a very gourmand fragrance, like a very heavily gourmand fragrance, like I tend to get quite nauseated and I have to be able to have a fragrance that, I mean like if it may have some gourmand in it, like it has to be like well blended, it can't be just something that literally screams like diabetes. So yeah, this fragrance is just super good and if you're looking for a fragrance that will not be offensive that'll be appropriate for the office or if you're a doctor or if you work in a medical field or the hospital this is also really perfect because i find that this fragrance um the sillage of this one is more on the arm's length so it has a moderate sillage and it doesn't you know like scream like as if you're wearing perfume like whenever um somebody passes by me like when i wear this out like i get asked what i am using so this is also quite a compliment getter so i find that um this one may sit close to the skin but as you walk by or if it's like airy outside or if it's like cold you will get that scent bubble around you and it will also leave some scent trail um, when you pass by someone. So yeah, this fragrance lasts me for about 8 to 10 hours considering that I really prep my skin well. But on a non-prepped skin, this will last you for about 6 to 8 hours. So yeah, let's get on to reviewing the notes of this fragrance. Okay, so for the top notes, you have Sheer Honeydew, Lotus, well, Lotus Blossom, Fresh Air Accord. The middle notes are Dewy Petals, Aquatic Notes, Blue Rose, and the base notes are White Musk, Cashmere Woods, Amber Wood, and Creamy Vanilla. The vanilla in here is definitely not the nauseating kind and combined with that cashmere woods and that um, ambery notes like it just rounds up the fragrance and it just gives that very very like skin like scent to it i find that this also has that saltiness to 
this fragrance. It almost reminds me of Jo Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. The saltiness of that particular fragrance, I feel like this one also has it. I feel like it's coming from that area cord and this one is not overly floral either. It just smells very clean and fresh and airy and it's not like offensive at all. And um, if you want to overspray this one, you can go ahead and overspray this one. But personally for me, I find that six to seven sprays is just more than enough for me. I don't need to go overboard that. And normally I don't really go overboard six to seven sprays anyway. And yeah, like I said, if you really want to prolong the longevity of this fragrance on your skin, you have to really make sure that you prep your skin well. And I will be doing a video on that um, later down the road. So yeah, I find that both men and women can pull this one off. It's not too feminine and it's not too masculine either. It's just the perfect unisex scent that is just right in the middle. And I find that even teenagers can pull this one off because it's not too overly sexy and it's not just a very sensual fragrance if that makes any sense. It just feels very comforting to wear. It feels very airy. It's very um, friendly as well. I find that if you also are looking for a fragrance to wear on a job interview, this is really perfect because this is just not something that will offend your boss or the one who's interviewing you. So yeah, um, the muskiness by the way in this fragrance is just right in the middle of being the clean musk and the animalic musk. So this this fragrance is definitely like well blended and I find that this fragrance um, is quite linear as well. The opening is more fresh, like you won't be able to detect that creaminess right away. But um, once it dries down, you'll be able to detect that creaminess very slowly and then it stays that way for the entire duration of the um, wear of your fragrance. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So if you also have any other fragrance that you want to request and see me review, please do leave a comment down in the description box on what fragrance you want to see next time on this channel. So guys, stay safe, happy, and healthy. I'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone, take care. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed this video and if you want to watch more, click here and here. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Also, do follow me on my socials. It's at Ia Loves Life. I'm actually on TikTok, Instagram, and on Facebook. So guys, stay safe, happy, and healthy, and take care.